Previously blind people who have attained sight, what was it like to see your family, colors, read, etc. for the first time? Does having absolutely terrible vision, and then getting it corrected count? We never had health insurance, so I didn't get my vision corrected, until I was 15. When they tested my eyes, I literally could read the biggie, and the two lines after it, that's it. I remember the first time I put in contacts, the first thing, that absolutely blew my mind was the clouds. I never knew clouds had texture, and all kinds of bumps in them, they just looked like flat, white, blobs to me. I stared at the sky for a very long time in amazement. I was amazed how I could recognize people in the distance, previously I wouldn't have known, if a friend was at a store for example, unless we brushed right past each other. Honestly my perception of everything changed, I never knew things had so much detail, it's so hard to comprehend literally everything you've ever seen changing in front of you. Edit, thanks for all the great responses. Some other things people have pointed out that brought back memories for me are trees, and how I realized how beautiful they actually were. They looked so bright, and the leaves were absolutely awesome. Previously trees looked like a green blob sitting on top of a tall brown rectangle. Being able to see the movie in a theater. All the texture in the carpet, just wow. Previously it was just a big blob of whatever color. Road signs. Previously they were just white signs to me. When I was 11, I found out I had a brain tumor. I had surgery to remove it, but the size and location of the tumor caused my optic nerve to atrophy. For 3 years afterward, I had partial sight, but my ophthalmologist told me that eventually I would go blind. At the end of my 14th year, doctors pronounced me legally blind, and said there was nothing that could be done. I had a 5% chance of surviving the tumor, and I did, but somehow I could never deal with the fact that I was going blind. I tried to behave, as if everything were just fine. When it happened, I was devastated. My dad left us, when I was 5, and I took that really hard. Because of that, and because I was blind on top of it, my greatest fear was, that no one was ever going to love me, that I would never get married, and have kids and a full life. I was afraid of being alone, and I guess, that is what I thought blindness meant. 10 years later, on November, 16 of last year, I was cooking dinner, and leaned over to kiss my guide dog, Amy. I lost my balance and hit my head on the corner of my coffee table, and then on the floor. It wasn't unusual. When you are blind, you hit yourself all the time. I got up, finished making dinner, and went to bed. When I woke up, I could see. Light was coming through my window, and the curtains were drawn. Of course, I was shocked, but not scared. Not like when I lost my sight. There is a big mirror in my bedroom, but I didn't look at myself right away. I wanted to wash my hair, and put on Macup first. I do not look good in the morning, and I didn't want to be frightened. As I was showering, I caught my reflection. And just that left me speechless, really. The last time I saw myself, I had short hair, a pale complexion and features that didn't show, because I had such light eyebrows and eyelashes. I looked awful, like a teenage girl, I suppose. Now, all of a sudden, I realized that it was true what people told me, that I was an attractive woman. When I stood in front of the mirror, I reached to touch my face. That is what I had been doing for 10 years, it was how I understood, so it was a natural impulse. It was not, until I saw myself, that I realized how much my memory had faded of things I once could see. It was about 4 hours, before I told anyone. I stayed with Amy, we looked at each other, and played outside in the yard. I just wanted to be alone, and take it in. It was so much. The strange thing was, that I knew it was going to happen. About a week before, I was walking Amy and suddenly saw blue dots in front of my left eye, the one I would regain my sight in. I told my mom, because I found it funny, blue had been my favorite color, and was the easiest color for me to see, when I had partial sight. I took it as a sign. People don't treat me differently now. I was always completely independent. I lived in Auckland, New Zealand, in my own flat with my dog. I would have parties and go clubbing. I would listen to the beat of the music, and go with it, and hope for the best. When your friends grab you, and point you in the other direction, because they are actually over there, that is when you remember you're blind. I also love movies. 
going to the movies blind was like someone telling you a really good story with great sound effects, and you make up all the images in your head. I haven't been back since I regained my sight, but I've been able to see my favorite soap, Shortland Street, and my friends took out magazines and pointed out Pamela Lee Anderson and Brad Pitt. The biggest surprise was Brad Pitt. I just thought, what is everyone going on about? The best was seeing my boyfriend. He rode the ferry over, and I knew him the moment I saw him. He was as sexy as I had imagined. I'm not surprised that things are pretty much the same in my life. I didn't expect anything more than what I have now. I worked very hard to surround myself with genuine people and to create a normal life for myself. I'm still the same person. It just means that physically, perhaps, I can share more and put the two together, the feelings I had, with sight. The same doctor who told me I would never see again told me I had regained 80% of the vision in my left eye. To be able to look him in the eye and tell him I could see again, honestly, that felt pretty damn good. He ran all the tests and made me read the eye chart, but he has no explanation. He said himself, and still says, that once the optic nerve is damaged, it cannot regenerate. I don't think the knock on the head had anything to do with it. If others want to believe that is how it happened, that is fine. But I consider this a miracle. There is no other way to describe it. Some things just cannot be explained. Of course, some people are skeptical. For me, it is precious. I try not to think about the possibility of going blind again. But my recovery would be no less a miracle, even if I lost my sight tomorrow. You have to realize, the first time someone attains sight, the mind has no idea what to do with that signal. Yes, the mind will receive it, but it's not going to be processed, analyzed, and coordinated like trained vision would. So ultimately, this visual input most likely had zero impact on seeing the first time. I don't have a source for this, but it sums up a highly rated comment on a similar thread I saw a while back. However, I'm intrigued as to how much of an emotional impact the gaining of sight would have in general. I regained vision naturally 13 years after birth. When I first woke up, my eyes were burning, like when you put lemon juice over it with a toothpick in it. I had some sort of band around my eyes with a medicine, dabbed around it to make sure my eyes don't burn. And as soon as I took it off, my eyes were burning like hell, not as bad, but colors were vivid and intense. Whenever I looked at a bright color, my pupils would shrink, and you wouldn't be able to see them from a distance. Colors such as orange and pink are like orgasms. It's so beautiful, and seeing the sunset was the most amazing thing I have ever seen. I can't tell the difference between black, gray, brown, and darkish midnight purple. I fucking love colors. It's like food, but 100x better. It's like when you close your eyes for a long time in the dark and the light comes on and your eyes hurt, but the feeling feels amazing to me. Reading was difficult for me. I had two tutors, one in school, and one outside of school. It's fascinating. I pictured books to be seeing big bright colored words on a large, but thin book. Books are really amazing though. I still remember my first book which was the third bug book. Everyone tells me books are boring. Maybe it is, but I'm in love with reading. I pictured my family exactly how they looked. My mother had a large beautiful voice, like Adele, and I knew she was slightly overweight due to her sleep apnea and her laziness, but she is an amazing mother, and is the one who helped me with all the things in my life. My father left me, but I pictured him wrongly. My first thought of him was a bulky man who was a musician. Turns out he went to India for work as a programmer. Haven't seen a picture of him, it's making me anxious. My older sister was the complete opposite of what I pictured. I though she was an arrogant, unsightly person but, when I first saw her, my mind was blown. She was beyond beautiful, and I had a secret crush on her for a couple weeks. I told her about it, and we both laughed. Amazing family. School is kind of a problem. I focus on colors too much, music gets me excited, and I just get too bored. If a room isn't filled with joy, the only classes I've truly liked are fundamentals of writing, plant life slash biology, and psychology. I know I will get through it though. The one thing I'm afraid of is being used to everything, and it'll all become too normal. My only fear as of right now. How about someone nearsighted? I'm legally blind. At present my vision is 20 over 400. I got my first pair of glasses when I was in third grade. I'm 20 now, 
and they are now utterly useless, since my eyes got worse every year. First time I put on a pair of glasses I couldn't believe it. Everything was so crisp and clear. I could see everything. I had no idea that there was so much to see. Nowadays I can't see a foot in front of me without my glasses. I think my dick sticks out farther than my eyes can actually even see. I saw a documentary on this guy who gained sight in his 30s I think. Basically, his brain had adapted to blindness, and he had a really hard time making sense of things. I don't remember the details but basically, when you're a kid your depth perception is off, and you kind of train your brain, by trial and error, to read the signals better. So this guy had a really hard time with depth perception, because he didn't his brain wasn't wired for hat as kid. I wonder if with time his brain will adapt, and he still walked around with a walking stick. He also said, when he first saw things, it was very confusing, because he didn't know what to make of it. We've been seeing things like chairs, for example, since we were babies. We learned to recognize general aspects of what makes a chair a chair, without having to see every single chair in the world. We have a huge catalog of things in our minds, so that when we look at an object, we compare it to our catalog and recognize it. This happens so quickly we don't even realize it. This guy doesn't have that catalog, not visually, anyway, so he had to build one from the scratch. TL. Doctor, apparently it's confusing. Does being legally blind count? Starting in second grade, my vision began deteriorating to the point that I was legally blind within a couple years. I had astigmatism and severe nearsightedness. Everything was literally just a blur of colors like a watercolor painting that had gotten wet or something. I had to hold my arms out when I walked to keep from walking into things. When I initially complained of not being able to see the chalkboard, my parents took me to the eye doctor and I got some glasses. They helped for a while, but my eyesight was deteriorating so fast that within a couple months everything was blurry again. By the time my parents could finally afford to take me to the eye doctor again in 6th grade my vision was so bad it was off the charts, like 20 over 3000 or something. I couldn't even make out the biggie, in fact I couldn't even see the outline of the chart on the wall. It was just one big white blur. The doctor they took me to specialized in the field of orthokeratology, Acura shaping your eyeballs with special lenses. They started me on hard contacts, and I still remember the first time I put them in. I remember opening my eyes, and being blown away by the grain of the wood in the office cabinets. Before it had just been a brown blur, but now it had intricate swirls and whirls. I stared at it for a good 5 minutes, before turning my attention to the carpet, then the textured ceiling, then finally my dad who was standing behind me. I saw my father's face clearly for the first time in 5 years. I cried. I broke down, and cried like a baby. After we left the office, we went to the grocery store and I proceeded to stare in awe at the light fixtures on the ceiling. Something I'd never been able to see clearly before. I don't remember what it was like to see things before my vision went bad. So it was really like seeing the world for the first time. The first few weeks were incredible I basically just went around looking at stuff. Everything was beautiful and interesting. I spent a lot of time outside looking at leaves and bugs. And staring off into the distance. To see how far I could see. The ortho K worked well. Though my vision is still pretty bad. The number after the 20 slash is in the hundreds now at least instead of the thousands. Bad enough that I still need strong contacts, but good enough that in a crisis I could function without them. Someday I want to get laser surgery, but I gotta wait till uh, I can afford it, and b, I want to wait and see if any adverse long term effects are reported before I go through it. So yeah, blindness sucks ass. If I were to ever go permanently blind I would not hesitate to kill myself. Groundskeeper Willy, Shari Bobbins and I were engaged to be wed back in the old country. Then she got her eyesight back. Suddenly the ugliest man in Glasgow wasn't good enough for her. Shari Bobbins, it's good to see you, Willy. Groundskeeper Willy, that's not what you said the first time you saw me. I had optic neuritis and went blind in my left eye. Took two days for me to go completely blind in that eye. I had to be treated in the hospital to try to fix it after a couple weeks, but that didn't work immediately. It took three months. I had double vision because my brain couldn't keep up with my vision changes. 
It was so bad, that I usually had to keep my eyes covered. If I really needed sight, I wore a pirate eye patch over the bad eye. When my vision plateaued, and the double vision ceased, it was a relief. I cannot see color very well though with my left eye today even and this issue was almost 10 years ago. It's like I see at dusk out of my left eye, and at midday out of my right. So I can't distinguish slight color differences like bricks or wood grain. It's a complicated story, but my mom had vision, lost it almost entirely in a surgical accident, and had all but her peripheral vision restored. She had been depressed and miserable for months when she woke up at home after the second surgery and she just wanted to look at my brother and I. She had us sit on the bed and talk to her, watch TV with her, read her books, but she didn't take her eyes off of us. Chances are her vision will begin to deteriorate. She may not know what my kids look like when they are born, but with stem cell research happening there is a real possibility that she could have that same moment after a treatment with my children.